Okay, let's begin the manual by looking at the PanCat and looking at the pad layout. We begin with this pad here. This is pad one, and this is the outer ring. And it goes pad one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then we have the second ring, the middle ring. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Then we have the inner ring, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and pad 30 is dead center. So these are the numbering scheme of the pad layout. In edit mode, each of these pads perform a certain function. The way you get into edit mode is you step on a foot switch, you step on the edit foot switch, and when you do, notice a screen. You see the screen says edit controller. You hit one of the pads, and then you hit either the increment key, the decrement key, or you hit the forward or the backwards, or you hit the pad repeatedly, depending on the function. Well, this sounds confusing that there's three different ways, but it'll make sense as we go to each of these pads and explain that. But there's one more thing that we need to discuss, and that is when you step on the edit foot switch, the first thing you see is edit controller one. The PanCat is really two different controllers at once, edit controller one and edit controller two. So you have to know what you are editing. The way you change edit controller one or edit controller two is you step on the edit foot switch and you hit the decrement pad or the increment pad to keep on toggling between controller one and two. So throughout this demonstration here, we're going to be always using edit controller one as we discuss each of the features in the PanCat.